let's look at let's look at this article. So in Ohio, you sent this uh, message to me that this uh, Ohio derailment, a bunch of toxic chemicals went in the air. And yet the local government and the federal government saying everything's fine, everything's fine, everything's okay. But yet, what are they finding? Dead animals and reports of sickness as ecological disaster unfolds. So you can say what you want in the media. You can say everything's fine, everything's cool, but people are reporting sickness and animals are dying. What was your thoughts on this? Curiosity, man. Again, I'm not heavily involved in politics. I know you have a sense of it because of the people that you're consistently around and because of the business that you're in. Politics ha happens to be a topic that you guys touch on so you guys can know what moves to make, the next couple moves to make in your business and every other aspect of your life. But to me, it's why is, you know, why is the government not putting their home first? I would assume you as a man or anyone as a, anyone in, in their household, if there's an issue going on in your home and there's another issue going on in the next town over, you would first address the issue that's going on in your household and then whatever resources or XYZ help that you're trying to volunteer your time to, to give to the next town over or the, the neighbor over, yep. then that, that's, that's following up. But why not start at home? Yep. You're not taking care of your own people. These are Americans that, that, that are being affected. And sure, there's only, what, a, a small number of people compared to the number of people they're helping overseas. Mm -hmm. But it's that small town that they're helping. They're still American citizens. Those are still people who pay their taxes and, yeah. and people who are waking up every day, going to the jobs, laboring themselves, and trying to make a living in this country that we call, that we consider one of the best countries in For the sure. entire world. Look at, uh, this is what Patrick and David, my mentor, uh, tweeted out, funny but not funny. Uh, Ohio also declares itself part of Ukraine in hopes of receiving aid from Biden administration. So instead of visiting Columbus, where does he go visit? He visits Ukraine. And he says, listen, we need to put some more money in people's pockets there. We need to support the public pension system out there so people get some money in their pocket. Is exactly what he said in, in the media. So he cares about people out there having money in their pocket. And, and then we have our own Un, we have uh, in America, we have public pensions on un, underfunded pensions of 1.4 trillion, and yet you care about the pension of Ukraine. So this is where a lot of our vet, our veteran community, are upset about this because we fought for America, man. We fought for this country to be great, for this country to be strong. I want to take care of my house first, our backyard first, before worrying about anybody else, and so. When we're looking at this, I understand that America feels the need to be responsible for other countries, as they should be. You know, we are, we are our brother's keeper, not just human beings, but also country to country. I want to look after it, but if we can't t even take care of ourselves, then what priority do we have then if the administration, or again, by the way, I don't care if you're a Republican or a Democrat, I'd call the same thing out if a Republican president was to do the same thing. Because principles are principles. Values are values. And so when, when, you, when you're looking at the, this, this type of crisis, and you know what I'm seeing more of now in the news? I'm seeing more derailments. And I'm wondering if the derailment is a form of economic warfare that a country's going through that's not being publicly announced. Because I believe that the warfare of what I was trained to do, which is tanks against tanks, fighter jets against fighter jets, naval ships against naval ships, I think those days are somewhat over because America just kicks everybody's butt. We're just so far ahead technology, in technology and, and just tactics-wise and just, you know, the American fighting spirit. But I believe the new warfare of tomorrow is going to be ecological, is going to be cyber, is going to be um, financial. These are the warfares that you and I have to be aware of because this is going to help you drive the decision you make going forward with your finances, with your career, your financial future. So therefore, you could be a more well-rounded and aware citizen to take advantage of the things that are before you and the things to avoid. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.